Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this video is quickly solve to find the surface area of a cylinder in terms of pi. And we're going to use this equation right here 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now, this equation is really broken into two main parts. This part of our equation will allow us to find the area of the two circular surfaces. And this part of our formula will allow us to figure out what the lateral area is of our cylinder. And remember, the lateral area just means the side of the shape. So what we're going to do first is identify the value of the radius and the value of the height in this problem. So we're going to rewrite this as 2 pi times radius squared. And in this case, our radius is 10. So we substitute r with 10. And then on the right-hand side of our plus sign, we have radius again, which we substitute with 10 again. And we have to multiply that by the height of the cylinder, which is 25 centimeters. All right, now that we have plugged all of our values into the appropriate places, what we're going to do next is simplify the left-hand part of our equation before this plus sign here and simplify everything to the right-hand side of our plus sign. So we're going to take 10 to the second power, which is 100, and then we take 100 and multiply that by 2, which is 200. And we have to take 200 and multiply that by pi. And 200 times pi will give us the area of the two circular surfaces. And to the right of our plus sign, we have to multiply 25 times 10, which is 250, and 250 by 2, which is 500. So 500 pi would give us the lateral area of our cylinder. And next, we can combine these two terms here by adding 200 pi and 500 pi, which is 700 pi. So it was actually that simple. The surface area of the cylinder in terms of pi is 700 pi square centimeters. Now, let's say you had to use 3.14 for pi. Well, then you would just take 700 and multiply that by 3.14. And that's all there is to it. We quickly figured out the surface area of the cylinder in terms of pi. Hey, I just want to say thanks very much for checking out my math video. Please subscribe to my channel so when I upload new math videos, you can become informed as they become available. 